All right, hello to you all. It's gray matter. It's not evening, so I can't even say good evening. But it's my day off, chilling. I finally get to move forward with some of the shit that I was trying to do. But I wanted to discuss this topic. I was going to make a whole Diddy joke video, be funny about the shit. But I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. This is not. There's nothing really fucking funny about this shit. I already knew what went down in the music business. It and it's fucking squeaky ass chair. I already um knew what was going down in the music business. It's part of the reason why I wanted to be an independent artist in the first place. I didn't want to deal with no craziness. I knew about the 360 deals. I knew about what was going down, you know, with Diddy and, and fucking Cash Money Records and all them niggas. I knew them niggas was gay. It's in their music videos. It's on their stages. All that shit. You got Uzi Vert out here twerking his shit. Fucking purse and skirt and everything. Putting diamonds and shit all on his forehead. You got the satanic rituals and everything else. I didn't want to be a part of that shit. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to sell vinyl records. Maybe do some shows. Get people to buy the music. Get big on YouTube, etc. When it came to music. That, that was the goal. Everybody was all against me saying I was running from God. That that type of bullshit. And before you go, well, what is the fuck does this have to do with you, really? You, you, you are not even a big artist. The point I'm getting at is that there are plenty of other artists out here who are watching this now, seeing what's going on and having all this shit being exposed, even though, once again, this is old news. And they're probably second guessing their decision, second guessing, trying to, you know, move forward in the music business. Don't stop doing that. Don't. You don't have to be in with the celebrities to be successful. That, that's for the people who are still pursuing music if you even come across this channel. Now, I hated the industry anyway. These big time artists are getting all this credit and all this recognition, being called the GOAT, etc. And these dudes got ghost writers. They're, go they're going around stealing people's shit from Instagram, from YouTube, from SoundCloud trying to flip it or, or just straight up robbing producers where they don't even get paid for their beats, etc. You got all these dudes trying so damn hard to get somewhere and they, they face all these gatekeepers, all these roadblocks, the algorithm being shitty, etc. And then say, say you are a new artist and you made it and you ended up at one of these ditty parties, right? Thinking that you was about to do a deal and you end up getting drugged and you wake up with your asshole hurting. The, the shit is real. It, it actually is actually happening. And what's crazy to me about it is that despite all the shit that he then did, all the artists that he then got killed or allegedly got killed. The, the fucking freak offs, the... the the thousands of pounds of baby oil. I don't know how the hell that shit didn't get detected. 700 something odd dildos. This shit is, this shit is demonic. I'm going to be blunt. All right. Forcing people to have sex till they need an IV is demonic. There's nothing natural about that shit. But all of this shit was known. And you see how nobody... Nobody brought it to light. And, and until, you know, Cassie, or was it Cassie or Cassidy? Until she stopped getting a benefit from it, then she wanted to go ahead and get this man set up. Even though she, I guarantee you, was helping set up those freak-offs and helping set up those parties. Then you go and you listen to these dudes, like, this guy right here. They also seized evidence. And, you know, all the other police officers that are discussing this. And they're talking about the women that were victimized. But we ain't talking about the men who were literally robbed of their, well, peace of mind, first of all. But also just violated physically. And then got robbed contractually as well. Like, musically. 
So not only did it get violated, but then it was filmed against their will. And that film was used to stop these men from getting the record deals that they wanted. There's a lot of artists out here who Diddy was getting all the money. Meanwhile, they had to work regular jobs and they struggling with their rent and shit. 360 deals, all that shit. It's, it's fucking crazy. People have been talking about this, but once we start, once we bring in the women, now is a big deal. Now, now, now we want to act serious. Even though some of the women were helping out. Like the shit is crazy. We talking about, we don't know who Tupac's killer is. We don't know who Biggie's killer is. I guarantee you he was right there in their face the whole time and them niggas was paid off. Because having money means power, right? This goes back into what I was discussing in my other video when I was talking about evil rich men. You know, you have angry man. He's talking about if a man got more money than you, that just means he's better than you, but he ain't going to say it. And that, you know, we only bring in morality because we're losers at life. Well, this man right here got all this money and he did it by using people, raping people, scheming stealing etc right and then it finally all comes out these rich folk ain't good people there's some that are okay but to, to judge a man and his character and who he is in general based off of the amount of money he made with this assumption that these men are hard workers a lot of a lot of things in this world is based off who you know and who can get the leg up on the next person business is a dirty game it, it just is the fact that you have to like even with the contracts like you have to set your contract up so that you're the beneficiary that you're the benefiting party and that's going to cost and it may be at somebody else's expense it's fucking wicked and then when you have people who don't want to deal with that shit and well, and but they still want to be, you know, they want to do it the honest way and they're having a hard time. We look at them like they're losers. When really they're just trying to keep their integrity and their booty hole. I'm just being blunt here. We talk about female victims, but Freak Mill <laughs> and various other artists is getting their shit rocked. It's disgusting. So then we have that and now everyone's all worried. Oh, the music business is about to collapse. Like, this is a good thing. All the fake satanic, you know, do they, they about to be gone. They about to be removed from the picture. And it's going to be open now. Especially with social media and the, the ability to create your own website. The ability to just sell directly to consumer. With all that being open, it's, it's free. It's free game now. It's at the the play field is even now. We all got that opportunity. You don't have to go through an artist or, or a certain person because a lot. Because let's just be blunt, a lot of these folk was at these Diddy parties. Even Obama was at that shit. I saw a video the other day where he was talking about ain't no party like a Diddy party, which I've been saying that he was the first gay black president. And I question him being black. And these dudes is wicked, man. These people are wicked. So it, it is what it is. I, I do not care. I don't. I'm not sitting here. Like the to hear folk be like, man, the, the the 90s, we don't have no heroes from the 90s no more. It's like, bro, we had heroes in the 90s. They all got black ball, screwed over, died. Good, good music that never came to light. And then you look at these average ass rappers and you calling them the GOAT. What I heard better from people that never got their name out. I'm talking about personally. It, this is fucking ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Instead of crying about these niggas. But let's let's focus on the artists that a lot of y'all been neglecting because they just didn't have the clout. 
but start focusing on them. I ain't even just talking about me. I'm talking about so many others. I actually haven't even seen this video, this one specifically. I want to see what this person's talking about. It's of the freak offs. Electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak offs with multiple victims. Oh, uh, well, never mind. I'm just going based on reports. He, he's just blatantly stating it. Electronic videos and images of the freak offs and with multiple victims. Cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak offs. More than 1,000 bottles altogether. Yeah. Mm. 1,000. Bro, it's so hard keeping a straight face just hearing it because it's, it's disgusting. But at the same time, it's like, bro, who the, who the hell on this earth is that damn freaky? Oh, no, nah, never mind. I can't say that because I was covering the Epstein bullshit back in 2020 on my Facebook. And it's weird. And this goes right back to what I was saying about how these women be helping them out. I believe Oprah is involved in all that shit, too, but I'm not going to go deep into that. All right. Let's just I've just seen some pictures. But. Epstein's girlfriend was recruiting these little girls, setting them up. And once again, you got Cass Cassidy and, and all these other there's other women who were named, not named by name, but various other women who was helping Diddy. But we we making this about women being only victims. You gotta stop, bro. Hollywood was on that island. In the music business, they was at, at these parties. And there were, there was plenty from both sides that was at both of them. Politicians included. Shit is not a surprise to me. I, I've already known this shit. It, it, it was... It's just, just, just pay attention to the people you listen to. Pay attention to the people you watch. Look at their mannerisms. Look at look at all that shit. Even some of the lyrics was, was fucked up. But I'm I'm done. This is a quick video. I'm gonna do a um because I had I had someone a commenter ask me. I'm a, I'm gonna do that Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles video. I'm a, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna see what what's up with that. Peace.